Hey everybody, if you're watching this, if you're watching me start getting into this Azure Ops stream that I'm doing today. Um, let me fix the monitor a little bit. Cool, or camera, whatever. Um, so here I am, I've been off for a few days, um, and it's been really cool to be able to get some time off, but I just want to go over uh, some operations tasks that you can do very easily with uh, Azure. So let's kind of get started by uh, logging into our portal. I keep uh, the Cloud Shell always available here, and then we can also open up a portal. Uh, I'll just go to my little dashboard that I've got here as well. So let's go over some basic things uh, when it comes to you know, operations with Azure. Uh, we want to start taking a look at some of our elements that we have available. Oh, this is an old dashboard, so let's go back to this one uh, and see things that uh, we've gotten here. So uh, normally we could do this all here within uh, the portal, but you may be uh, someone that wants to get information quickly. Uh, you want to use the shell. So uh, it, it's not that hard to get started. Let, let's talk a little bit about it. Um, starting with the shell is pretty simple. Uh, we can use uh, the AZ command, and the AZ command is really going to be the thing that helps us learn a lot about what it is we're going to be doing uh, within our cloud shell. Um, let me make sure that the video scale properly. I think it is. Um, if, if you don't think the video looks great, just let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure I have everything available for me uh, on Twitter, so you can send me some Twitter messages and I'll be able to see what's going on. Cool. So let's take a look, not at my email, because I've got a lot of email, but let's take a look at uh, some Azure operations that we can do uh, from the Cloud Shell. Uh, first of all, we've got all these different resources that we have available to us. Um, let's take a look first at some of the resources that we can uh, look up. So let me shrink the shell a little. Cool. I think you should be able to see everything perfectly. Uh, if you can't, like I said, let me send me a message. Let me know if it doesn't look quite right. Uh, let me fix it just a little bit more. How does that look? Hmm. I'm not really happy with this, so um, I'm just going to keep going. There we are. That'll work for now. So let's just go over some quick things we can do with uh, AZ Resource. So what is EC Resource? It's going to provide you with information on the resources that are available within a resource group. So let's go to AC Resource List. What's that going to do? It's going to give me information about the different types of resource groups that are inside of my um, specific subscription. So uh, let's say that all I want to do is list for my subscription that I have built and my subscription name let me get it because I don't memorize everything. I've been on vacation for a week. You can give me a break, right? Please. Thank you. Um, my resource group name is CA-JGORD Demo Test. So now we'll get a resource list of just things that are within this subscription and their output types. But uh, we're just going to pipe it to more. More is a pretty standard. Um, Linux pipe that you can put things into and get information. So now I have information about my subscriptions, uh, some of the uh, resource groups that I've got created. Uh, here's one for my cloud shell. Uh, now we have another one here if it's a default resource group. Uh, cool. So you've got all these uh, pieces of information. Now let's go to this one in particular. Let's look up resource group JDestro blog. Let's get some more details on it. So let's go AZ resource. And we have show and let's put the name. I'm pretty sure we can just do it with minus G. Nope, we need to show the resource type. So let's do a list. 
So now we're going to be just talking about the, the blog itself resource group. And it's actually going to start showing us the actual uh, resources that are created for it. So what I could do if I really wanted to was output this information into a file. So I could say jdestro blog output, output that into a file, and then I could use code if I wanted to do to then edit this, see the information that's in here, and then you could take some of this information to then ensure that what you're looking for exists. And then uh, let's say you don't need one of these pieces anymore, one of these resource groups. You can then, uh, then programmatically delete it right here from the Cloud Shell. So once we're done looking at our file here, we could just go here and close editor. Cool? So um, this is just me testing the streaming services. Um, if you'd like me to do more of these streams, just give me some subjects so you can send it to me via Twitter and uh, I'll do more of these little um, how to get started with the Azure Shell moments uh, or other parts of Azure if you'd like. So thanks for joining me today uh, and uh, if you've got more questions just reach out at jdestro. So thanks very much and we'll see you soon I guess.